Let's continue to use the print function to introduce a few new things. So specifically, let's talk about having multiple statements per line of input. And what we mean by a statement is essentially a complete command or instruction in Python. We'll also talk about using a keyboard shortcut in idle to save us some typing and we've seen already that by default the print function puts a new line character at the end of its output but that's something we can control using an optional argument so let's also talk about optional arguments so far we've entered one statement per line but if we separate multiple statements on a line with semicolons, then we can have these multiple statements on a line. So let's give that a try and still using the print function. So let's uh, say we want to print hello and that's a complete statement with a single argument but now let's also call the print function again. So these are two separate calls to the print function and now when we hit return it's not entirely obvious what we should get but if we think about this for a bit we know that the print function by default puts a new line character at the end of its output so we would imagine that first call would print hello then a new line then the second print function comes along and prints world and a new line and then we get our interactive prompt back so that's our guess let's give it a try and sure enough there's hello new line world new line just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do it so I should point out that generally you shouldn't put multiple statements on a line. I've done it here for the sake of illustration and there are situations where it may make sense but in general it makes the code harder to read so it's best avoided. Now let's say we want to have a statement such as we had before or those multiple statements but we want the output all on one line. Well it turns out that the print function accepts an optional argument called end that controls what appears at the end of the output. So we can use this optional argument to tell that first print function after you write hello don't put a new line sit around and wait for any other output that comes along and we'll see how to do that in a second but I want to save some typing here I want to recall those multiple print statements but I don't want to type them all in again so there's actually a keyboard shortcut that I can use within idle to recall previous commands so if I type the control key hold that down and P as in previous and I do this on a Mac it will recall the previous entry or on a Windows machine I could hold down the alt key and then type P to recall a previous entry so there are other keyboard shortcuts that you can read about in the help page that's available within idle so for example uh, if you go back in the history of entries with control P you could use control and then to go to the next one to go forward okay so I'm going to do that now I'm gonna hit control P and oh, I recalled that previous comment uh, then the one before that and the one before that and the one before that and then oh there's what I wanted there's the two print statements and I want to alter the first one to put that optional argument in there. Okay so I've recalled the previous statements and now we can use the cursor keys to get the cursor wherever we want it and we want to go back and doctor that first print statement and put that 
optional argument in there. So we get between the parentheses and we're adding an argument so we separate arguments with a comma and then optional arguments are sometimes called named arguments. So we said this argument was called and we would write and and then set it equal to whatever we want to set it equal to. So let's just go with a blank space. So instead of a new line we're saying first print function print hello then a blank space and then wait for whatever else comes along and it turns out that world comes along. So how would you possibly know this? How would you know that there is this optional argument? Well, we'll talk about that in the next video.